In lesson seven, we're going to use this library, FuseJS, to do some client-side processing of their input. Now, we've got everything working towards like showing this spinner bar right here. What we want to do, though, is actually something while this is thinking. So let's come back over here. And uh, let's see. What we're going to do is look at this weighted search option. Because essentially what we're going to do is say, hey, we've got this data, uh, which is right here. And what we want to do is say, hey, which keys should you look? Now, if you might remember, if I come back over to my JSON file, we've got slug, title, description, and date. That's the keys that are available to us. And I can actually provide a weightedness to say, hey, this is more important or less important based on whatever they pass in. Now, there are a bunch of other options we can pass in as well. You'll see that we basically create a new instance of Fuse, pass it our options, pass it our data, and then we can use a method called search to search whatever the query happens to be. The output looks like this, where we get back data that gives us what the thing is, and if we ask for a score, it will give us this score back as well. So we've got two options right here. Now to actually use this library, we need to install it. So we can do that with npm i views.js. Now let's get this back up and running. And now let's close this down and come back to our search route. Once again, I just said we're going to do everything we can in this file just to kind of keep things all contained. So right down here, when I actually search, I want to update not just the search readout, the document title, but in this fetch search results, I want to actually query that based on this Fuse.js library. So take my query and run it against that data using their fuzzy search algorithms. Now, once again, just like I did here, I don't want to redo this every single time. If it's just being typed in, I want to basically first check, hey, have I already created a new Fuse instance? Otherwise, I'm going to be doing that multiple times each time. So let me show you what I mean if that doesn't make sense. I have to actually create the new instance after I have the data since I have to pass that data in. In fact, let's come back over this way just to show you that. So I have to actually have the data already. So this is where I want to do it. So I could say const fuse equals new fuse, and I want to pass it my search data. I don't have to pass an option, so for now let's leave it like that. In order for this to work though, I have to actually import this. So let's come up top here to my imports. And here we will import fuse from fuse.js. Okay, so with that said, if I come back over this way, maybe let's kill the spinner for now, just so I don't have to keep watching that. So we'll try to remember to, to reload that in. But if I come over here, let's just say like um, console.log generating new instance of Fuse. All right, so there, that works just fine. But every time I type, it's going to generate a new instance over and over again. I don't want to do that. So just like before, we want to wrap this in a little if statement. So I'm going to come up top here. And once again, we're going to have search data. We'll also have like fuse instance or something like that. So let fuse instance. And what I want to do is come inside here. And we'll say if there's no fuse instance, then do this. Except in this case, I want to update this to say fuse instance is that. So now you'll notice it does it the first time, but as I keep typing, it doesn't reinitiate that. Now I do actually want to pass in some search options. So I'm going to say search uh, options like this. And once again, this is going to be static. So I'm just going to capitalize that. At least that's my understanding of what people usually do. And here, this can be a const. I'll say fuse options. And here I want to pass along a few options. If I jump back over here to the fuse documentation, you can see an example. So let's go ahead and start with this. In this case, I've got a title, but I've also got a description. Now in this case, I'm going to give the title more weight and the description will do like 0.75. I can also pass around a couple different options. And if you're interested in Fuse more, I've done a video on it explaining these options. But one of the things I can do is say I want it to should sort. And I want to set this to true, so it'll actually sort it. And then I can also pass in a threshold, which basically says, hey, how much does it have to match things? So in this case, I'll set it to like 0.5. I think 0.6 or something like that as the default. But just to show you, you can pass in additional options. Now these fuse options we passed in down below. Oh, this should be fuse options. So now we've got access to this news fuse instance. Now, one thing I might want to do is just double check here that I actually have search data. So search data, I have to have that. And if I don't have a fuse instance, then go ahead and generate this since I need the data inside of here. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of this right here. And now one more check here, we'll just say if there is no fuse instance, then go ahead and return. Otherwise, I'm assuming there is a fuse instance, and now I can go ahead and do my search. So I'll say const search result. We'll set this equal to fuse instance dot search. Remember, that's that method that lives on there. And I will pass it my actual search right up here, right? So this is getting passed in, and now it's querying it based on the data I already pulled in. So let's go ahead and just make sure this is all working properly. If I console log this and jump back over this way. All right, I'm not exactly sure what the problem is. Let's kill this. Actually, I wonder if it is the fuse options. Let's jump back over here, just make sure I'm, I'm showing this correctly. So it's an object. This is, let's make sure all this is working. 
So let me remove those two since we copied those in. Okay, so those seem to be the problem. Not that. Looks like it's this threshold. And that's because uh, this needs to be comma. Okay, here we go. So if I start to type, let's say something like markdown, you can see I'm actually now getting results back. Now in this case, it's just one item. If I were to come over here and type just a single letter though, you can see I'm getting back five items, which is all the items. So I have an A matching in all of those items. Now inside here, you'll notice that I get the item itself and also a score. The item itself contains the four things I passed it, the date, the description, the slug, the title. So this is what we're going to use to then output our results right here. And we'll do that in the final and next video. I'll see you there.